Yeah. There's nothing better. Like Fuck. he woke me up this morning at 5 a.m. And I know it's cliche to say this. Like I go to bed with butterflies. Yeah. Because you're going to wake up and see them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. beautiful, man. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. Yeah. What do you want your kids to do? Do you have any idea what you want them to do? Not fight. Fair. Wouldn't let them well, fight. Well, real quick, it's too, too tough of a go. What, I have a question about fighting. I know it's a super left field based on a kid conversation, but what was the hardest fight you ever had in the in the UFC? They were all fucking hard. Um, Anyone stand out where you're like, fuck, man, this is like annoying. I, I would say the most heartbreaking one was the Noguera fight because that was like, like my, I think my life trajectory would have changed if I would have won that fight. Yeah, and but, not not, but not in a good way. Yeah. Um, I think if I would have won that fight, I probably went on to fight like Brock Lesnar and fight for the title, and I would have been so consumed in fighting that had been my life, and um, that was tough because dude, it was tough because I flew. I I I, was, I, I just beat Mirko Krokop, knocked him out. It was like one of the fight of the year you know, knockout of the year, like crazy shit. Yeah. And we're all busted up. And then they give, they give me Noguera in Brazil. That's like fighting Michael Jordan, Chicago. Yeah. So nobody's rooting for me. I'm on the poster. It's me, Force Griffin, Big Nog, Anderson Silva. Like it's like the first time they're back in Brazil. Yeah. The promotion was fucking crazy. Yeah. I was favored to knock them out. I'm, the, I'm, doing, I'm on this insane press tour. Biggest, you know, how many millions and millions and millions of people watch that? And I went in there super cocky because I should have just destroyed this dude. And he, no Guerra. No Guerra. And he yeah. caught me with the right hand. And then, you know, I was in Brazil. And I was like so embarrassed. My family flew out, you know, 14 hours on a plane to get to Brazil. Yeah. And I'm there for seven days after because we thought I was going to destroy this dude and enjoy Brazil. And I just remember I'm like walking around Brazil, like black guy, like half yeah. my money. I'm broke. And I was like, but this, but this is famous guy in the UFC, I guess. And I'm broke and I'm walking around. I'm so embarrassed. And then like the, the Brazilian fans just like took all that away. They like yeah. gave me hugs and kisses and gave me oh, free shit. food. And like, they're like, you're such a warrior. And like, it just made me realize like, oh dude, this is dope. 